Right, this is Dan's headlight upgrade video for the Range Rover Sport. So this is our project car and the headlights were looking a bit rubbish. So if you look over this side, this is what the standard headlight looks like. And inside it's all grey and it's a little bit. And Dan didn't think that was looking up to standard. So he's taken one apart, he's done it all himself, he's done a great job. He's put it in the oven and he's painted the inside black. And I think it looks good, I have to agree with him, that does look good. Um, but without looking, it, it looks factory, doesn't it? It doesn't look sort of too, too chabbed up or too ricer. So, right, so Dan's going to show you how to do this. Right, then what's the plan, Dan? Wow. Right, um, so have you got that headlight that's sort of half apart that you can show how are we going to start with putting one in the oven? Start with putting one in the right, oven. Right, go on then. Okay, so if you don't know how to get your headlights out, we've done another video. We'll put the link there, but we've just... We've just rested the bits on for now. So take your, take your headlight out. Right, and what we've got to do is we've got to separate the clear lens from the black body. Now, it's, there's a series of clips as well, isn't there, Dan? So go on, you talk us through it, Dan. So these are quite easy to just pop off. Just have a look at those. So yeah, you can see the design of those. And you've got that little lead at the back there so you get under there and so how many of these well, you got three along the well, top five or six five or six you got a couple on the bottom there and what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven so we got those five off that's that's it nothing at the side now these these bits here are these because i haven't even looked at this dan you don't they're just locators they're not actually yeah. any clipping there's nothing um to do now we are going to put this in the oven is it worth taking any yeah, of these caps i took all the plastic bits off and the bulbs and also the rubber drains there's one there and was one there. right let's let's do that then let's whip those those covers off so that's just the now you do have to be careful doing this. And we've done another video for taking all your bulbs and bits and pieces out. Um, which was that other video I linked to earlier. Yeah. So if you follow that one, that was actually... So we don't want to damage too much. So we are... There is a bit of a risk here, isn't there? Where's your melted one, Dan? Have you hidden that? It's Throwing in the back cave, yeah. Yeah. So we did... We did... Dan, in doing this, did melt a headlight. And what did you do wrong there, Dan? Put Classic. It, put it on the bottom of the oven. Bottom of the oven. Now, if you've ever cooked your dinner and put a full oven and put something on the bottom of the oven, you will know it melts at the bottom of the oven. So yeah, I did I did that one so. Christmas. I put the nut roast. My wife's vegetarian. I put the nut roast on the bottom shelf because the turkey had it. <laughs> turkey, cooked lovely. Nut roast. Oh, dead. I was in the doghouse. Take these brackets off because you need to get some indicators. Oh, yeah. Now, that this was tricky, isn't it? This is a tricky thing. Oh, yeah. So, taking the bracket off, you did come to me at this, one point, yeah, didn't this you? this is the easy one. You wanted some of my my wisdom at one point. He got stuck. That was the only point you came to me for my wisdom, yeah. Dan. So, what size are they? 13 mil socket? Uh, 10. 10. You got to take the other brackets. There's two of those brackets. So you got to take yeah. them both off. Yeah. So there's one here. So you can see that. And they do they hold? They don't necessarily hold the slider, do they? But... No, but that one's got the located clips on. So when when it's hot and all the seals melted. Oh, it's just it the pain in it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Four bolts on that one. Ben, our photographer, did you hear about this? Did you hear about his coal walking he went on the other day? No. Where, you, where they put all these hot coals on the ground and you got to walk over them. It was like a motivational team building thing. He did it. How was he? Mind over matter, fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I condone that. Right. So, yeah, let's have a, let's have a look at that then. Five. Yeah. So, that's that whole bracket there off. And what does that expose then? So, the indicator. Yeah. Get the indicator bulb holder out. He says. He says, "Go on, Dan." Is that just? Stop. Yeah, let me have a go. Let me have a go. Yeah, you have the camera. Right, yeah, so that one of these did go the opposite way. It does. No, Dan. 
I'm no stronger than you yet again. Leave that in. Oh, that's all right. Are you going to yep. take these bits yeah, out? Yeah, take them off. Let me have a go at this. Let me have a go at getting there. So do we need to remember where they go? Because that one's like some sort of hammerhead shark thing yeah. going on there. Which is the top, the top, top of the one. Line. And the bottom one. I mean, you can watch the video anyway. And then there's some on the other side. Is there? One there. And that's the bottom one again. That's the same as that other one. Right, and you've got to take that one off as well, yep. haven't you? You're right. You want me taking over your video? No, it's all right. Go ahead. Now, all these bolts, are they all the same length? Yes. All right. Because let's have a look at those. They're sort of a coarse threaded. All right, we've got one there. Mm. And then this is the one where you got to take that out because of this. Oh yeah, there's this. Yeah, now this was a pain in the. This is where. So on here you've got this metal slider that that does this but we have to take it out because the bolt is hidden below here so how did we do it in the end then i just yanked it you just you just gave it an almighty can I, can I use a bit of gentle leverage on here okay right yeah so on that one you've got to take that out because that this is where you'll struggle for hours that exposes that one there screws yet yeah, they're all the same all right that comes off then yep right so we've got everything out other than the indicator ball but he was awkward so we're going to roast him yep. quite literally roast him right should be all right with the temperature because the engine gets hot anyway yeah the engine bays at 200 right and what temperature have we got the oven set to 75 degrees so yeah send your partner out and then so this is a standard oven. Now, is there any orientation to go in? Because, because originally we took the bottom shelf out to squeeze it in better. Didn't yeah, we? It, but you you just got to give it a wriggle. Bottom shelf in. Whoa! He's... Put those clips oh. in between the ah, yeah. in the bars. What clips are those? In. Right, so we got it set at 75 degrees C. And can we set a timer on here? And then work it out. We'll do I it. don't work it out. No, I'll we'll do it on the phone. How long are we going to put it in for, then? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes, right, so here we go. So we are 10.08 now. Right. Right, we've done 10 minutes, so let's turn the oven off. There you go. Let's take that out. Right. Wear your oven gloves. Wear my oven gloves, look at that. Right, nothing's melted. Right, we haven't damaged anything, that's good. Right, now if you rest the camera on the end here, because we're going to need loads of people to do this. No. <laughs> oh, well done, Dan. Right, so before it gets too cold, try and pull. I've got the black with Dan, you try and get your lever off. Or is it going to need a bit more? It's not a screwdriver in it. It should start to come. It's going to be easier to hold it straight up. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm get, I've got it then, I've got it. Right. 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 Okay. Right, we don't want to get that muck on on anything too much, do we? Yeah. yeah. Go on. That is cool. that. Just like that. Just like that, right this. I don't know how much we needed more hands than we possibly had so hopefully you saw Dan and I struggling there so it's a bit messy and you've got loads of the straggling stuff but this is all quite soft and sticky um, so what Dan's gonna do now is 
that bit is yeah so if you just pick that up Dan and flip it round what you'll see is the bit we need to paint is now inside here so when when it's cooled down a bit and we'll have to clean all this mess off what we'll have to do is undo those screws so we've got a screw in here a screw there where's the other ones there one there screw there and then these three take this silver, silver bit out which so, you don't want to paint yeah well, well we'll come back in a minute we'll let it all cool down and we'll do that so the the rubber actually while it's warm you can sort of peel it off with your hands and as it cools it adds, it gets less sticky you can actually there you go it sort of forms a ball so it's not too bad it's a bit of a, a drama you have to sort of peel it off but you can see there uh, you can sort of peel it off with your hands it's not too difficult um right so we've got that now so Dan's going to get us a Torx T20 driver he's got, and he's going to remove the... If you give me one of those screws, let's have a look. Do you think all these are the same, Dan, as well? No. No, right? Those so ones are shorter than... Shorter, okay. Ones. Right, so let's take the short ones out first, then. So it's just those two. Okay. And yep. then it's wedged in. Right. Oh. So this, the, this stick with that horrible stuff. So can you pull? Oh, I'm not. I'm put your screwdriver down. We can see what you're doing. So it's sort of wedged in from this side. You can't lift that other side out, no. No, no they they stick to the glue stuff, which I don't think they're meant to. Oh, so right. So what are we taking out? The whole lot will come out now. Yeah, right? the whole lot will come out. Right, good. Right, so put that on you. Yeah, I was like, right, yeah. Take this bit off. Yeah, so so we've got the two, these two screws, and these are, the, you're going to say they're different, aren't they? I'll we'll put those down. How many have you got? Three of those. Right, yeah, so these are longer. So if I put them next to the the others, You'll see these these longer the ones now, and the ones Dan's getting out of the the chrome bit that holds the chrome bit to the grey bit. Because obviously we don't want to spray the chrome bits. Nope. So that let's have a look at that chrome bit. So this we need to keep chrome um obviously to be reflective for the light but this piece here that's gray is is adding no value being gray and also the side repeater we're going to spray over that the side reflector sorry because that's only really part of a us requirement um so if you look at the light that dan did yesterday um you can see he's painted over that bit there and that looks so that's the difference we're looking at there so dan's going to get busy so he's going to wipe all this with solvent that pops out does it gone then yet that just clips out. He's going to wipe everything with solvent, then he's going to key it with a Scotch Bright just to, and then he's going to put a coat of primer on it. So we'll come and join him later when he's halfway through that. Right, we've got our two bits that we're going to be painting. What I've done is I've given them a quick rub down with a bit of Scotch Bright, um, and also wiped them down afterwards with some solvent cleaner. If you don't have solvent cleaner, something like acetone or nail polish remover will probably do. Um, we've got a heat gun because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of heat on it just to get the plastic to a state where the paint will stick better. Put a coat of primer on it, a thin coat, and then heat gun, then primer, then heat gun, and then we'll move on to the black paint. So all those years Dan was doing the graffiti have paid off. He turns out to be not too, not too shabby with the old spray can. So he's. He's doing the uh, the primer there, and then once he's got a good coat of primer on and we've dried it, because it's cold today, we just don't put the heat gun down like that. We'll, um, we're using the primer, and that'll stop it reacting with anything. When we've got a good coat of primer on, we'll put some of the matte black paint on. Um, but yeah, we've painted the reflector as well. That's looking pretty good. 
Right, so Dan's painted that with some matte black paint, and that's come up all right. There's a little mark, but that was where I, I dropped it, but don't worry. Right, so we've got the lens, and we've cleaned the lens. Now, you could have a go. Let's just have a look at that, Dan, under the light here. Um, you've got this channel with the gloopy glue in it. Now, Dan could spend a lot of time scooping it out, but what I'm going to suggest is put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. On the other one, he did scoop it all out. But I think it might be better just to put it in the oven, and then we'll just run a bit of silicon. It'll have silicon and this PU, which will be like belt and braces, and we'll stick it together. So whack it in the oven 75 degrees again for 10 minutes. There we go. It's 22 minutes past 11 now. So while it's in the oven, the uh, the base part of the headlight, Dan's just screwing, inserting that back into the lens. So that lens is going to be ready. We're going to get that out, and we're going to push that over it. We're going to put some silicon. So we've got some silicon we're going to put in just to make up for any adhesive we've lost. Oh, Dan's lost the screw. We'll leave, we'll leave him get that finished. Okay, Dan's just putting some silicon. He's got a tube of silicon oozing somewhere around there. It's not too hot, but hopefully putting it in the oven 10 minutes has, has helped it a bit now. Right, we're good. It's a it's an attempt, isn't it? Put that. On. You got it lined up right the back around. That's going together, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That's closing the gap up quite nicely. Right. Right, he's got he's got the silicon all over his hand. Oh, I'm gonna... You have a go getting some clips on, eh? Yeah. They go that way around. Yeah. Hold on. That's it. Alright, wait. That's broken. Not that broken, that one. That's, uh... I reckon. You, yeah, I reckon you're better off putting the other end in first, then. Put the other end in first, and then push up on it, so, and then catch that. No. You did it last time, but you do the way you did it last time. Alright, well done. There you go, it's the last part. Might I'll hold it while your silicon yeah. dries. It's on the bottom, isn't it? Well, that's it. Dodgy filming here, I'm trying to help hold it as well. We good? That's got that edge, has it? Yeah, There's only the five of them. Is that? More on this end. Mm. Yeah. There. So we'll put the bulbs back in. We'll do everything, but let's. Oh, Dan can't hold it. So right, he's, he's covered in he's covered in silicon. So there we go. So that's the the head like there initially. We'll build it all back up, and then we'll go and pop it back in the car. And see what it's looking like in the car. But it's looking good, Dan. Right, so this is the final result of the Dan Range Rover Sport headlight upgrade. And all he's done there, as you've seen, is just painted the insides of that, taken the headlights apart and painted them. And that's looking pretty good. That's set our project car off nice. So we fixed the gearbox now. We've smartened up the headlights. We've cleaned up the front. In fact, we've cleaned the whole car. It's looking quite nice, isn't it, Dan? Yeah. Um, we'll do an update video on the whole car, but there we go. Let's have a look inside. We've painted over the, the yellow side re reflectors, painted the inside, and we think that matches. We'll probably change the grill next, um, but we're starting to look good. That's a good job. Well done, Dan.